The diabetes epidemic. How modern living is fueling the rise in cases. Did you know that the number of people living with diabetes has skyrocketed in recent years, making it one of the most pressing public health concerns of our time? According to the International Diabetes Federation, over 460 million people worldwide were living with diabetes in 2019 that's more than the entire population of the United States. And it's not just a problem in developed countries. In fact, over 75% of people with diabetes live in low and middle income countries, where access to healthcare and education is often limited. But the real shocker is the projected increase in diabetes cases. By 2045, the number of people living with diabetes is expected to reach over 700 million worldwide. That's like adding the entire population of Europe to the current number of diabetes cases. This exponential growth is driven by a number of factors, including changes in diet and lifestyle. As we've become more reliant on processed and fast foods, we're consuming higher amounts of sugar and unhealthy fats, which can lead to insulin resistance and ultimately, type 2 diabetes. Additionally, many of us spend long hours sitting at desks or in front of screens, leading to a more sedentary lifestyle, which can also contribute to the development of the disease. The consequences of this epidemic are staggering. Diabetes can lead to serious health complications, such as heart disease, kidney failure, and blindness, and can even be life-threatening if not managed properly. It's also incredibly costly, with estimates suggesting that the global cost of diabetes care was $760 billion in 2019. But there is hope. With early detection and management, as well as education on the importance of diet and exercise, we can work to prevent and manage diabetes. Governments, healthcare systems, and individuals alike can take action to help mitigate the effects of this epidemic and improve the lives of those living with the disease. So, what can we do to combat the diabetes epidemic? Let's explore this important issue together and discover the steps we can take to help address this growing public health crisis. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that occurs when the immune system attacks and destroys the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin. Insulin is a hormone that regulates blood sugar levels in the body, and without it, blood sugar levels can become dangerously high. Type 1 diabetes usually develops in childhood or adolescence and accounts for about 5 to 10% of all diabetes cases. Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, is a chronic condition that occurs when the body becomes resistant to insulin or doesn't produce enough of it. This type of diabetes is closely linked to lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise, and it accounts for the majority of diabetes cases worldwide. In fact, over 90% of all diabetes cases are type 2. Did you know that the food you eat and the lifestyle you lead could be putting you at risk for type 2 diabetes? It's true. The rise in cases of this disease can largely be attributed to our modern way of living. Our diets have undergone a dramatic shift in recent years, with a heavy emphasis on processed foods. These types of foods are often high in sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats, which can cause blood sugar levels to spike and lead to insulin resistance over time. Think about all the sugary drinks, chips, candy, and fast food that you may be consuming regularly. These foods may taste good, but they could be causing serious harm to your body. But it's not just our diets that are contributing to the rise in type 2 diabetes. We're also more sedentary than ever before, with many of us spending hours sitting at desks or in front of screens each day. This lack of physical activity can also contribute to insulin resistance and other health problems. It's important to get up and move throughout the day, even if it's just for a few minutes at a time. The consequences of type 2 diabetes can be severe, from nerve damage and vision loss to heart disease and stroke. It's important to take control of your health and make positive changes to reduce your risk of developing this disease. This includes making healthier food choices, staying physically active, and maintaining a healthy weight. But the good news is that type 2 diabetes is largely preventable with lifestyle changes. By making small but impactful changes to your daily routine, you can help reduce your risk of developing this disease and live a healthier life. While lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise play a significant role in the development of type 2 diabetes, genetics also play a part. Certain ethnic groups, such as African Americans, 
Hispanics, and Native Americans, have a higher likelihood of developing the disease than others. In fact, research has shown that genetics can account for up to 70% of a person's risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This is due to differences in how the body processes and uses insulin, the hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. For example, African Americans are almost twice as likely as non-Hispanic whites to develop type 2 diabetes. Native Americans are also at a higher risk, with some populations having the highest rates of diabetes in the world. Hispanic Americans are also at a higher risk, with rates of the disease increasing among Mexican Americans and Puerto Ricans. However, it's important to note that genetics are not the only determining factor when it comes to developing type 2 diabetes. Lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise still play a primary role in the development of the disease. In fact, studies have shown that even among high-risk ethnic groups, changes in diet and physical activity levels can significantly reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So, while genetics may play a role in the development of diabetes, it's important to focus on making positive lifestyle changes to reduce your risk of developing the disease. By making healthier food choices, staying physically active, and maintaining a healthy weight, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes, regardless of your genetic background. Did you know that the consequences of the diabetes epidemic go far beyond just the individual? The impact on our healthcare system and global economy is significant. Diabetes is a chronic disease that can lead to serious health complications, including heart disease, stroke, kidney failure, and blindness. These complications not only affect the quality of life for those living with the disease but also place a huge burden on healthcare systems worldwide. In fact, diabetes is one of the leading causes of death worldwide, with over 4 million deaths attributed to the disease in 2019 alone. But the impact doesn't stop there. The cost of diabetes care is also staggering, estimated to be $760 billion globally in 2019. This includes both direct costs, such as hospitalizations, medications, and doctor's visits, as well as indirect costs, such as loss of productivity and early retirement due to disability. This burden is especially high in low- and middle-income countries, where access to healthcare and diabetes management resources may be limited. In these countries, the economic impact of diabetes can be devastating, affecting not only the individuals living with the disease but also their families and communities. But there is hope. By investing in prevention and early intervention strategies, we can reduce the burden of diabetes on individuals, healthcare systems, and the global economy. This includes promoting healthy lifestyle choices, improving access to diabetes education and management resources, and increasing funding for diabetes research. Together, we can work towards a world where the diabetes epidemic is no longer a crisis, but a manageable and preventable disease. So, let's take action today to make a positive impact on the health and well-being of ourselves and future generations. The good news is that there are effective strategies to prevent and manage diabetes. Making healthy lifestyle choices is one of the most effective ways to prevent type 2 diabetes, as well as manage the condition if you already have it. Eating a healthy diet rich in whole foods, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats, can help control blood sugar levels and prevent complications. Engaging in regular physical activity is also crucial for preventing and managing diabetes. Exercise helps improve insulin sensitivity, allowing the body to use insulin more effectively to regulate blood sugar levels. It also helps with weight management, which is an important factor in preventing type 2 diabetes. In addition to lifestyle changes, access to healthcare and diabetes education is also essential for preventing and managing diabetes. Regular checkups and blood sugar monitoring can help detect diabetes early and prevent complications. Diabetes education programs can also provide individuals with the knowledge and skills to manage their diabetes effectively, reducing the risk of complications and improving quality of life. Early detection and treatment are also key to preventing complications and improving outcomes for those living with diabetes. This includes regular monitoring of blood sugar levels, medication management, and regular checkups with healthcare providers. Overall, preventing and managing diabetes requires a multifaceted approach. 
by making healthy lifestyle choices, improving access to healthcare and education, and promoting early detection and treatment, we can work towards a future where diabetes is no longer a growing epidemic but a manageable and preventable disease. In conclusion, the diabetes epidemic is a complex issue with a multitude of factors contributing to its rise. By understanding the causes and consequences of diabetes, we can take action to prevent and manage the disease, improve public health, and reduce the burden on healthcare systems around the world. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe.